Hey Premiere Pros, it's Paul Murphy here and today we're going to talk about common problems with multi-camera audio and how to avoid them. So I've put together a list of some of the most common problems you can have with audio in multi-camera sequences and maybe you will recognize some of these. So the first that I have is not enough audio. So here I have three camera angles but I only have one track of audio. The inverse of that problem is, of course, to have too many audio tracks. So look at all of these, and if I don't actually need all of these in my timeline, that means I'll need to go in and manually delete the ones I don't need every single time I drag this into my project. A really common one that I see is to have no waveforms in your multi-track sequence. So even if I select this clip and I go up to my clip menu and choose Generate Audio Waveform, I don't get anything in my timeline, and this makes it really hard to edit. Maybe you've come across problems with panning where I've got this one audio track here. It looks like it's a mono track, but when I play it in my timeline, audio two. it only pans to the right. And then finally, what about track order? So if I add this to my timeline here, I have three cameras. Why have they come in as camera C, camera A, and camera B? And that's reflected here in my audio as well. If I just go and turn on show audio names, you can see it's coming as C, A, and B. How do I get this to actually create it so that they've come in as A, B, and C? So that's just a few of the common problems that I've encountered. And the amazing thing is that all of these problems relate to just these two settings here within the audio box. So sequence settings and audio channels preset. And we're gonna go through both of these to make sure that we set them the right way. Let's start with the audio channels preset. So this is going to set the channel format of the audio tracks in your multi-camera sequence. So what exactly do I mean by that? Well, I have a multi-camera clip that I've already created here, and you can see that every track has one channel inside of it. So what the audio channels preset is asking us is how many channels do we want per track? So if I just go back to my multi-camera source sequence window, you can see we have options here, which are mono, so one channel, stereo, which is two channels, 5.1, which is six channels, and adaptive, which is anywhere up to 32 channels. And we also have the option for automatic, which is going to let Premiere choose the format for us. So for example, if I have a mix of mono clips and stereo clips in my selection, Selection, then Premiere is going to make them all mono clips and it's going to turn those stereo clips into dual mono. But here's the thing, I don't like any surprises when I'm making tracks like this, so I don't actually choose my audio channel format at this stage at all. I would say the best place to do it is in your project panel. Select all of your media and then go up to clip, modify, audio channels, and you can set them to all the same format here. And if you haven't set the channel format for your clips using this window before, I do have a video you can check out for that. So once you've set all of your clips to being the same format, that means that when you go in and create your multi-camera source sequence, all you need to do is set your audio channels preset to automatic, and you know exactly what you're gonna get when you create that multi-cam sequence. So then let's move on to our audio sequence settings. And this is going to control which audio clips to use in our multi-camera sequence. It's also going to control whether or not our audio changes when we change our video track, and that only refers to the third option here, which is switch audio. We have two other options here, camera one and all cameras. Let's start by talking about all cameras. And as the name kind of implies, this means that it's going to include all of the audio from the files that we have selected. Now let's just talk for a second about the way that we select our clips because the order in which we select them is going to affect the order of our tracks in our multi-camera sequence. So if I go in here and I press Command A or Control A to select all, then the order of my tracks should be the order that they are sorted here in the window. And there is one little asterisk to that. The other way to control the order is to do a custom selection. So I'm gonna hold down my Command key, that's Control on Windows. I'm gonna spell out the word cab camera C, A, B, and then I'll do my audio in reverse, audio two and one, and then I'll go up and choose clip, create multi-camera source sequence, and under sequence settings, I'm gonna set this to all cameras, and I'm also gonna uncheck move source clips to process clips bin because I don't want Premiere to reorganize my project for me, and then I'll click okay. 
And look here, we have our video in the order that we selected it, but it's down here. So we have camera C, A, and B. And then we have the audio in the way that we selected it, which is audio two and one. But the audio has come first. And this is just what happens when we choose all cameras is it doesn't matter the order that we selected things, audio will always come first in our track order. Let's move on to the next sequence setting, which is camera one. So this is what you would use if you wanted the audio from just one of the clips you have selected. So I'm gonna just do this with my video files first. I'm going to select camera A, hold down shift and click camera C. So I've selected all of my video files, create multi-camera source sequence, and I'm going to set this to camera one. So camera one is always the first clip that you have selected. So if I click okay, and then I drag this, into my sequence, you can see that camera A has been used for my audio source because it was the first clip that I selected in my project panel. Now, what happens then if I add some of those audio only files to my selection? So I'll just go in here and what I might do is select everything in reverse. So camera C, B, A, audio two, and then audio one. And then I'll bring up my multi-camera source sequences, set this to camera one, and then click okay. And you can see what it's done is it's given me both of those audio only files. So when you choose camera one and you have audio only files in your selection, it's going to use all of them for your audio source. And that brings us to our last audio setting, which is switch audio. And we use this when we want to create a multi-camera sequence that has one audio track, but that audio track will switch audio sources at the same time that we're switching our video sources. So I'll just go over to my project panel and press command A to select all, and I'll create a multi-camera source sequence. I'll go to my sequence settings and I will choose switch audio. You can see there we have one track and the video is camera A and the audio is camera A. Now look what happens when I go up to my multi-camera viewer and click camera B. I go down to my timeline and my video is camera B, but my audio is still camera A, which is not what I wanted. And that's because I need to check one setting in my program window. I'm gonna click the wrench here and go down and make sure I have multi-camera audio follows video checked. Now, when I do this, if I click camera A, it's gone back to camera A, camera A. If I press camera B, it's gone to camera B and camera B, same for C. Now you can't actually see it here, but I actually have those two audio files are uh, here. So if I click this one here, you can see there's audio one, and this is an empty video track here. So it's made those audio only files the last tracks in my sequence, and they don't have any video linked to them. And I can do the same with audio two. And that's everything you need to know about your audio settings when it comes to creating multi-camera sequences. But let's just do a quick recap of everything that we've gone over. So with audio channel presets, you wanna set the channel format for your source files before you create your multi-track source sequence. You wanna make them all the same channel format, and then you can choose automatic for your channel format preset. When it comes to sequence settings, if you choose all cameras, this is going to include audio from all selected clips. And if you've selected any audio only clips, they will always come first in the track order. If you choose camera one, this is going to use the audio of the first clip in your selection, unless of course you have audio only clips, in which case it's only going to include those. And finally, if you choose switch audio, this is going to give you one audio track that will change the audio source when you're switching cameras. And if you have any audio only files here, they're going to come last in the track order and they'll be linked to empty video tracks. And that is it. That's everything you need to know about setting up audio for your multi-camera sequences. I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.